What to do, y'all? This your boy King Eric, the media assassin, coming at y'all with another video. Subscribe to the like button for me. So apparently, there's a little bit of drama going on within Slaughterhouse. Because Joe Ortiz and Crooked Eye are using the Slaughterhouse name to put out new music and going to release an album. And they also dropped a single, and as well a trailer, explaining their point of view of what really happened. Because there are two of the lesser brand names of the group and compared to Royce and Joe Budden. So they want to come with their point of view of what happened. And the song is pretty dope. They went ahead and did a million views off of it. But Royce the Five Nine has been vocal, been very vocal and not pleased with it at all. And you can read it on his Instagram. So they put out a track addressing their issues with the situation, what happened with the shady deal. And apparently they're not feeling it at the moment. Joe Budden, he compared it to these guys basically whoring the brand. And, you know, he respects whore culture. And he he respects them dudes doing what they got to do for the bag. Now, I'm going to tell you all this. Crooked will wash these niggas by himself. Joe Ortiz is no slouch either. Crooked and the horseshoe gang alone would torch Joe Budden and Royce the 5 9 on that mic. Because, see, Crooked, I met him before, man. I seen him perform, man. Dude is an animal. He's an animal. He said, don't let that Long Beach fruit, don't let that Long Beach come out of him. So he would, they would give Joe, they would give Royce and Joe problems. So Joe need to go ahead and stay being the Stephen A. Smith of, of hip hop. And Royce, he couldn't even handle Lupe Fiasco. So you think he can handle Crooked Eye? Shoot. And Joe, he gave Joe a pass for that. He said, look, I'm going to let you have that one right now. But next time, all bets is off, nigga. But it's just a shame how things turned out for this group here, man. Because the group has so much potential. I, I, a part of it had to do with M. Let's be clear. M gave them his his style of production that will work for him and that will work with D12. But it won't work for these guys. All you have to do is give them guys dope beats to rip off of. Stop trying to mess up the formula. That's what happened. I compare this to what happened with Cannabis album. The first Cannabis album, nobody want to hear those deep concepts. Nobody want to hear that. They want to hear this nigga just shredding dope beats. And this is what we want to hear with Slaughterhouse. The first Slaughterhouse album, Independent, was pretty good. But the Shady debut was trash. Because they wanted Eminem to be involved and they gave him, and you feel his influence there. Like that, that style will work for them, for him, but not him. So the second album they doing, which is probably either unfinished or they still got some work in, it's called Glass House. And M just let them dudes do them. And apparently just because Joe Budden walked away from the deal, they can't put the album out. So Royce, He's showing more involved. He he showed probably he more involved, but Joe, he's the hold up. Cause I think they're contractually obligated to to work together. He just walked out on it. Left a lot of money on the table. That's typical Joe Bud shit. But we're gonna see where this goes. I mean, I'm hoping things will work out for them in particular, but from what I'm hearing about this new slaughterhouse project between Crooked and Joel. I heard it's going to be pretty solid, so I'm going to check it out. So let me know what you guys think of the comments. This is King Eric. Holla.